I am man. I haven't killed one yet, but I've killed six. Oh, fuck. Shit. This is the uncertified, untrained, and unscared Keith Barry John. How may I help? Uh huh. Yeah. Emergency. I'll be right there. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, for fuck's sakes! <sighs> Greenland. Hmm. Why are you so serious, sir? Hmm? You want some bacon? You're not Nemo. Oh shit. Hey, who's talking like this now? Oh shit. Fucking hell. This is the uncertified, untrained, and very fucking scared Keith Barry John. How may I help? This is the uncertified, untrained, and unscared Keith Barry John at your service. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Evans. I should be fucking you, Keith. Ben never has a time to do these sort of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're always late nice running the club and all his paperwork and stuff. Mm-hmm. You're the only one I can rely on to clean my pipes, Keith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, if that's the case, I can come back tomorrow and I can flush out your pipes. Oh. <laughs> okay.
Where the fuck am I? Where the fuck are my clothes? Look, I'm into some tasty shit, but this is taking it way too far. You're a creep who followed me around all day. I don't know what you're talking about. Can you at least tell me why you sent me? Look, I'm not saying I did follow you around all day. But if I was you, take it as a compliment. Why do? You do realise you're the one tied to a chair, right? Enough with the kinky shit, my god. Just stick a gag in my mouth and let's go. Ugh. How's that for a gag? Oh, uh, not the rest. Uh. <coughs> 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 you sit here and shut the fuck up. We're fucking vampires, you dumb shit. We only need blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Free food tonight. Thank you, boss. I've seen him before. Mm. This doesn't smell right. It smells all right to me. Come on. I'm digging in. How come he's not exploding? I thought vampires did that. Are you dumb? Vampires don't turn into dust. Yeah, Moron, this isn't some shitty vampire film. Yeah, Moron, this isn't some shitty vampire film. Vampire bitch. What are you doing? Looking for a tracker. Aha! What's it say? A vampire phone to call your vampire brethren? We're not fucking happening today, love. She's tied to a chair. Really? Really? A Twilight phone case? Could you be a little bit more creative than that? Where's your boss? Yeah, tell her where her boss is. Where is he? Yeah, where the fuck is he? Either you tell me where your shithole vampire nest is, or I will cut pieces from you until you do. Holy shit! What? Did you find something? Newcastle BT. Shit, yeah. Two, one. Stay. Shut up! I'll we'll tie you up again. <laughs> the Huntress. Everyone's heard of you. You wiped out the McCallan clan. You started the fire in the Cunningham Nest. You single-handedly killed Baron of Cranor using just a pencil as a stake. You've got quite a reputation. A pencil? We've heard the stories, all from the boss. About how your parents are brutally slaughtered. About how they begged to have their little girl left alone before they were skinned, stripped, and drained of all their fucking blood before there was nothing but bones left to the dogs. They should have done the same to you long ago. Hey! You can't talk to her like that. She's the most amazing vampire hunter I've ever seen in my entire life. Not more amazing than me, but I'm pretty tough to beat. Who are you to talk anyway? You're tied to a fucking chair. Hell, she even tied me to a chair. Sure, she's only a girl. She's not as strong as me. She's not even as good looking as me. Wh what's that? She's way more attractive than you. She's a five at the most. She's a seven at least. You're the one that's a five at most. Fuck off! If I'm a five, then you're a... <laughs> what's taking you so long? You literally covered me in blood. This is gonna take a while.
Look, by what I said earlier, you're not a five. You're at least an eight in my book. Yeah, I know. You're still a five, though. And, uh, I'm sorry to hear about your parents. You know, like, being stripped and drained of their blood and everything. Yeah, like... that's enough. If there's any consolation, my dad died too. Was it a vampire? Oh God, no. He slipped on some ice and cracked his head open. <laughs> my dad died. Sorry, I was just expecting something a little more tragic. That was just pathetic. <laughs> what was he like? He was a good dad. He, uh, he was in a cover band, so like, he sung a lot of rock and roll and that was kind of my childhood, really. What's your favourite band? ACDC. My dad used to play them on the jukebox and Steiner that we used to go to. <laughs> I kill for some food right now. Perhaps we could go to that diner? That diner's the last happy memory I have of my parents. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. That's pretty tragic. Thanks. What's your name again? John. Keith Barry John. Wow. Who gives their kid three first names? Your parents must have hated you. <laughs> so tell me. What's the name of this infamous huntress then? You there? Oh, uh, the other night you forgot. This. This is the uncertified, untrained, unscared, and completely rejected Keith by John. How may I help? Keith! Come on in! You know where the sink is? I'm just gonna get some milk, you'll prepend you, so behave. Where's Ashley? Oh, uh, Mr. Evans just popped out to get some milk. Oh, I see. Uh, how's it going down there? Oh, that's not too bad, man. Just flushing out the pipes. Sorry about this. Uh, Ashley is quite particular about the way his uh, pipes are flushed. It's no problem, Mr. Evans. I'm just doing my job. That's an interesting uh, hairpin you've got there. What? Oh, no, that's not mine. That's, that's my girlfriend's. Oh, really? Interesting. Any late nights? Yeah, loads. Like, last night was a real messy one. What did you guys do? Go to the movies? Go out for dinner? Kill my vampire brethren? Uh, we went out for dinner. Really? Well, the four of you must have had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. Wait. 